In this video, I'll be solving January 2019, paper 2, question 2. Part A1, make x the subject of the formula for 2 marks. So they gave us the equation y is equal to x over 5 plus 3p. And the first thing I want to do here is to remove this 5 from the denominator of x. I will do this by multiplying this entire equation by 5. So I'll write here, multiplying throughout by 5. So this becomes here 5y is equal to 5 open brackets x over 5 close brackets plus 5 multiplied by 3p close brackets here. Now this 5 here I can express it as 5 over 1 because 5 divided by 1 is 5. Notice here that these 5s could cancel and give 1. So this becomes here 5y is equal to 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 multiplied by x here is x, plus 5 multiplied by 3p is 15p. Now, I want to make x the subject of the formula, so I need to take 15p to the left hand side of the equation. This becomes here 5y minus 15p is equal to x. Switching this equation around, this becomes here x is equal to 5y minus 15p. Part 2. Solve the following equation by factorization for 2 marks. So they gave us a quadratic equation here that we can factorize using the HCF. The HCF of 2x squared minus 9x is x. 2x squared divided by x here is 2x minus 9x divided by x here is minus 9. This is equal to 0. Now we can solve for the x values. So x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 9 is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 9, divide by 2, divide by 2, x here is equal to 4 and a half. So therefore, x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 4 and a half. Part B, a farmer wishes to enclose a rectangular plot with a wire fence. The width of the plot is 3 meters less than its length L. Given that the area enclosed by the fence is 378 square meters, show that L squared minus 3L minus 378 is equal to 0 for 2 marks. So I'll start off here by writing all the information they gave us in the question. The length here is given by L. So length is equal to L. The width is 3 meters less than the length. So, the width is equal to L minus 3. The area enclosed by the fence is 378 square meters. So, area is equal to 378 meters squared. Now, the farmer wishes to enclose a rectangular plot. We know that the area for a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. And breadth is another word for width. So I'll write here that area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by width. Substituting these values into the equation here, the area is 378. This is equal to the length is L and the width is L minus 3. So this becomes here, 378 is equal to, I want to expand this bracket by the distributive law. So this is L squared minus 3L. Now I want to take this 378 to the right hand side of the equation. So the left hand side becomes 0 is equal to L squared minus 3L minus 378. Switching this equation around, this becomes here. L squared minus 3L minus 378 is equal to 0. Part C. The force F applied to an object is directly proportional to the extension E produced by that object. Part 1. Represent this information as an equation in terms of F E 
and an appropriate constant k for one mark. Now for those of you who are doing physics, you'll recognize that this is Hooke's law, but you don't need to know this to be able to solve this problem. They told us here that the force is directly proportional to the extension E. So I could write here that force F is directly proportional to E. And they want us to write an equation in terms of Fe and a constant K. So I could write here that force is equal to K E. Part 2. The incomplete table below shows corresponding values of F and E. Using the equation obtained in C part 1 or otherwise, determine the values of X and Y for two marks. So the first thing I will do is to calculate the constant K. And I will use these two known values of F and E to do that calculation. So when F is equal to 8, E is equal to 0 0.2. And we know from C part 1 that F is equal to KE. Now substituting these values into the equation here, we have F is equal to 8. K multiplied by E here is 0.2. So this becomes here, 8 is equal to 0.2K. Dividing both sides of the equation by 0.2. This cancels, so k here is equal to 40. Next, I want to calculate the value of x. So, when f is equal to 25, we have here e is equal to x. And we calculated here that k is equal to 40. Now, we know from C part 1 that F is equal to KE, substituting these values into the equation here. This is 25 is equal to 40 multiplied by X, dividing both sides of the equation by 40. X here is equal to 0 0.625. Next, I want to calculate the value of y. So, I will write here that when f is equal to y, e is equal to 3.2. And we know here k is equal to 40. From c part 1, we know that f is equal to ke, substituting these values into the equation here y is equal to 40 multiplied here by 3.2. y here is equal to 128. So therefore, x is equal to 0 0.625 and y here is equal to 128.